Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. You could turn $10 into $250. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash fan and use code FAN. That's code FAN at prizepicks.com slash FAN. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. Isn't it amazing that you can see two people and just the way that their bodies magnetize towards each other, you can tell that they've been intimate? Anyway, two of my coworkers are definitely fucking. On this episode of The Commercial Break. It doesn't hurt to give me $350,000. <laughs> <laughs> and see if it all works out. <laughs> By the way, who's got an extra three hundred fifty thousand dollars laying around? You think the guy who's watching average guy who's watching football on Sundays is interested in opening up a salon suite with an extra three hundred and fifty grand in his pocket? He's betting the parlay on the fucking Browns or something. <laughs> Get real, Frankie. The next episode of the commercial break starts now. Yeah, Catholicans, welcome back to the commercial break. I am Brian Green. This is my dear friend and co-host, the beautiful Kristen Joy Hoadley. Best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. And best to you out there in the podcast universe. Thanks for joining us on another episode in season number four. Season number four. We'll, we'll do the went went song. Oh, now, you want me to do the went went sound? <laughs> Getting used to it all. I love that. What is that, a uvula? It's a vulva or something like that? <laughs> Did they have a problem with that in the soccer tournaments and they had to stop, they had to ask people oh, to stop that's right. stop using them like back in the, yes. something like that, wasn't yes, it? Or the yeah. basketball games. They asked people to stop bringing the uvulas over because they were distracting, <laughs> distracting. everybody, yeah. giving people fucking headaches. <laughs> and I can understand why. I think yeah. I told the story before. I was at a podcast conference and this these two ladies who started this podcast about death. It's about death. Like how we all handle death. And they were giving this rather intense and emotional panel uh, they were on this panel about death the subject of breaching the subject of death on podcasting and outside <laughs> of these of this particular room oh, all you could right. hear that's right i do remember you talking about that so my mom died yesterday <laughs> Right, wasn't it somebody outside? That Both was- of my dogs were running over by a tractor train. <laughs> oh, bad. It was so bad. <laughs> Season number four. Here we are. We're back. You know, whatever. We got 3,000 episodes ahead of us, so... <laughs> Just strap in. It's going to be a long season for all of us involved. And I got another child. I've got them up to eight now. So I've yes. got 12 children running around, mm-hmm. including Blue. Yeah. Who, By the way, the children are, you know, when you bring a new child home, I've learned since I have a couple of them, yes. four to six. We'll count them at the end of the night. I'll let you know. I'll give you an update. But you bring the children home and then you expect that the uh, the children who have been around are definitely going to act out just a little bit. Right. That's the name of the game, right? It's mm-hmm. There's something new in the house and they're afraid that it's possible. A little bit that, of attention. Yeah, the attention away. gets distracted and you can imagine in their little brains, they don't really fully understand if this thing is going to stay around forever. <laughs> is it going to take my attention forever? How am I going to adjust? And by the way, my two children have been wonderful. They have just like, oh, they have they're really, so sweet. they're lovely with the baby, but they do act out on occasion. We've noticed and we've, you know, kind of made a plan for handling it. The child that is acting out the most is fucking blue. <laughs> of I, course. <laughs> if, if I wasn't so attached to the guilt of my catechism, that dog would have been out the door a long time ago. You're that right. dog shits and pisses ev- everywhere it's not supposed to. So the other day, we're giving the baby a bath in my bedroom, in like mm-hmm. one of those like little sink bath things, right? Sure, that, for the right. babies. So we're giving the baby its first bath. So everybody's in the bathroom. Grandma, Aww. grandpa, dad, mom, the whole nine yards, Dead. right? But Blue kicks the door open, <laughs> comes in the bathroom, and I heard her. I, I could hear her little nails scratching across the, <laughs> the, the, the tile floor. Yes. 
but I just go on, give the dog, you know, it's not unusual for Blue to be bothering me in some way, shape, or form. So I'm giving the baby a bath. Oh, cute. Take pictures. Blah, 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 blah. I step back from the bath and I step right into a puddle of fucking pee. Oh, she peed right at my feet while I was giving the baby yeah. a bath. I wanted to we'll punt that you. dog across the room. I swear <laughs> to God. Blue. I know. Every time I come out of the studio, she's right there. She's right the there. Door. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sometimes she kicks the door open she and she'd does. be under our feet and mm-hmm. we don't even know it. I know. <laughs> Oh blue. oh, blue. But, you know, listen, it is what it is. Yep. The, the children have been. So, um, yeah. So, listen, I've, we've had enough relative success to have four seasons. Congratulations to you. Yes, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. And um, thank you to our listeners. Yeah, thank you to our listeners from wherever you came from. We were talking about last episode, we were talking about how Dr. Phil had pitched. They had done a couple, like we bought a couple sponsorships from him. Well, we have some relatively exciting news, I think. Yes. For those who listen who may, you know, you may not hear this because you are already a listener of the commercial break. So we're letting you know that Chrissy and I have managed to convince the people <laughs> at Smartless. You know, the example that we give when we say a good podcast right. like Smartless and not a bad podcast like the commercial break. The people of Smartless have agreed to do an endorsement for the it. commercial break. It's fucking insane. I know. I mean, I'm just waiting for them to be like, wait a minute. I know. We listen to now it. Now they want copy <laughs> points. And I'm like, do I put in the word pizzle? Do I try and get one of them to say the word pizzle? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Or not. Or maybe I just let the professionals be the professionals. That's true. You know, they are maybe, very good at maybe their craft. Maybe that's what I do. <laughs> Or maybe you get a little help from your old friend, Henry Fonda. Oh, my God. Wow. Henry Fonda. That's right. It's me. I'm back on the, I'm back on the scene. I'm here to help you out in any way possible for your podcast, of course. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Henry. You are looking awfully scrumptious today. Uh, thank you. I must you. say. How's that Jeff doing? Oh, he's wonderful. Huh. Thanks huh. for asking. Okay. <laughs> Tell Jeff I said hello. I'm going to send Jeff up a cup of coffee. I want him to drink the whole cup of coffee and only the cup of coffee, if you know what I mean. (laughs) If he starts to feel sick afterwards, don't mind him. What I'd like you to do is get him close to the balcony, (laughs) have him drink the cup of coffee, and then give him a shove. Just one shove. Hey, Chrissy. Yes. What are you wearing under that TCB shirt? (laughs) Are you wearing another TCB shirt? I am. It I just like, keeps going. I heard that the commercial break was having a little difficulty <laughs> finding listeners, so I thought I would come and help you guys out. You're well, so thank sweet. you, Henry. That's very yeah. sweet of you. Yeah, you sure anything I can. I take two forms of payment. I take PayPal, uh, not under my name, under another name, because of legal reasons. <laughs> and then I also take forms of physical payment, if you don't mind, Chrissy. <laughs> What's that? I heard you got the new storage unit. <laughs> I did. Can we visit together? <laughs> Maybe. I've got something I want to store. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I think I have an idea. I wonder if your unit is big enough to hold it. <laughs> we can find out together. Mine is Jeff, of course. Yeah, I don't know the idea to get him course. all upset. I, yeah. You know, I, I do like Jeff. Mm-hmm. Mo- I, I'd like him better if he wasn't around, but I, I will learn to deal with him. I think the three of us could live together in the mm. same apartment, don't you? Uh, I don't know. I'll Do you t- have an extra bedroom? <laughs> no. You don't? Mm-mm. It's going to suck for Jeff to sleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Henry. What does Jeff have that I don't? Money? A car? A stable place to live? <laughs> what are these things? We get so caught up in the things. Does he have a valid passport? I mean, come on, crazy. <laughs> help, help me help you, if you know what I mean. I can promise you 20 new subscribers if you and me could just have a little bit of a long time. <laughs> just a little, a titty bitty. A titty bitty. Do you know what I mean? Titty bitty. A titty bitty, titty bitty, if you know what I mean. It's been such a long time, so give me an update. How is the commercial break doing? Uh, we're, we're still here. Uh, how many subscribers do you have? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> three. Uh, oh, uh, the original three I brought you. That's I right. feel like you owe me a debt of gratitude. Possibly a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've man. always loved you, Chrissy. I missed you. I missed you, too. You don't even know. <laughs> You know where I was? Where were you? In the clink. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ran into a little trouble. (laughs) It turns out that podcast promotion in Moldova is not the same as podcast promotion in the United States. 
You don't say. Yeah, no, it's not at all the same thing. I was, uh, you know, I was actually giving, getting subscribers by kidnapping them and <laughs> <laughs> stealing their phones. <laughs> That's one way to do it. It, uh, it works for the commercial break. You <laughs> right. still have three listeners in Moldova. <laughs> Not exactly sure where those ladies are currently, but it doesn't matter. I'm back home with you, Chrissy. Oh, and good I'm to have super you back. excited. Thanks, Henry Fonda. We really appreciate it. It's good to hear your voice. We haven't heard you in two seasons. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, well, yeah I guess he's been in jail, so that's why. Makes sense now. Hey, Brian, could you get out of the way while Chrissy and I have a conversation? <laughs> Jesus, this guy talks all the time. Does he ever shut up? <laughs> now I know why all the bad reviews on Apple. <laughs> Look, here's one. Worst comedy podcast ever. Period. From your ex-girlfriend, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> she took the time. Here's another one. Boring and unfunny. Five stars. Here's a third one. Does Brian ever shut up? <laughs> I agree with that one. <laughs> well, Chrissy, I have to go now, but I will be back. I will be back to visit Fantastic. you in season number four. I love you. Please, I love please you. give Jeff my regards I and will. a good swift kick in the nuts. <laughs> okay. I will meet you at the storage unit at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Uh huh. Don't be late. Okay. Bring the key and a mattress and pillow. <laughs> <laughs> because if we can't have sex, at least I can spend the night. You know what I'm talking <laughs> right, about? Hotels right. are expensive in they the United are. States. In Moldova, I get it for free. <laughs> for every woman I bring, I get two hotel rooms for free. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay, we at Podcast Universe are always here to help. Our egos. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Henry oh, Fonda. Oh, my God. Wow. It really has been a long time. I missed yeah. him a lot. It only took two seasons to remember how to do that voice. <laughs> We've had quite a few requests for him. We have. We've had a lot mm-hmm. of people ask about Henry Fonda. And, like, people go back into the archives, like, the people that we were talking about the other day, it was a couple, a guy named Michael. And he was saying that, you know, they were, like, 30 beers in, and they were going back into the into the archives, and mm-hmm. they were mentioning Henry Fonda. But this is not the only time this has happened. We probably get one, one two, three of these a month. People are like, hey, whatever happened to Henry Fonda? Right, right. And well. what happened to him is, is that, you know, you can beat a bit up to death if you try. <laughs> True. And go back and listen to season number one. It's Henry Fonda. Uh, <laughs> season number two, it's Mountain Monsters. Season number one through four, Frankie. it's Frankie B. Yep. <laughs> Well, so without further ado, (laughs) he's back. (laughs) Frankie is back. We'll get to him in just a second. I just want like I have one side conversation that I that I want to have. Okay, that I think is super interesting. Did you hear about the basketball player whose balls exploded? Did you hear about this guy? So. He goes, it it does sound painful. (laughs) And here's why I bring it up is because I would like to know, and I highly doubt there's any like actual medical doctors that listen to the commercial break. (laughs) But if there is a medical doctor who listens to the commercial break, I'm interested to know what happened to get the name right. I'm interested to know what happened to Brevin Galloway from Clemson, because I read this incredible story that it, it, I thought it was clickbait at first, you know, yeah, uh, sure. Brevin Galloway's balls explode. And I thought, <laughs> well, that's how do you, how do you, I've heard of, I was a soccer referee when I was a teenager. It was like how, how I made some extra money. Okay. I would go on the weekends and I would do youth soccer refereeing. I was really bad at it and I didn't do it for very long. <laughs> I got distracted too easy. I'd be like I'm staring sure. at girls, you know, yeah. uh, the girls team. And I'd be trying to do like an under four year old soccer game and I'd be giving people red cards. And it was just like, I was just bad at the whole thing. But when I did that, they gave me a three day training course. Everyone had to go get certified to be a referee. So you went to a three day training course, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, they gave um, training on first aid specific Mm. to soccer. Well, wouldn't you know it? One of the more common injuries in soccer is that a testicle will get impounded into the body Ooh. cavity. Ooh. So someone would kick, kick yeah. get, you, get you kicked, and then one of the balls wouldn't drop. Like it would go up into you Ooh. and it wouldn't drop. And apparently it's extraordinarily painful. And apparently it happens more frequently than we would imagine. And one of the ways that you get the ball to 
drop, drop is you have someone sit Indian style. You pick them up around their and then cross their arms. Pick them up around their arms so their whole body is like it's sitting Indian style. Now they're floating above the air, oh. two or three feet, and you drop them. And then the testicle, it, because it's supposed to open up the cavity, and then it's supposed to drop the testicle. Oh, huh. So this you is one drop of the ways them on the ground. You drop them on the ground. Huh. Drop them on their butt, right? Oh, okay. And so the thought is it'll dislodge the testicle, just gravity and the and the dropping. <laughs> it all sounds very disturbing. <laughs> it does. But then you read about this guy named Brevin Galloway. He goes, he does a workout, he goes to sleep, and he, when he wakes up in the morning, his balls are the size of like golf balls. Oh yes. Well, but then within a couple of hours, they're more like the size of grapefruits, and he's in excruciating pain. So he goes to the hospital and they have to release, they have to like deflate, deflate, deflate the them, testicles. Yeah. And now he's going to play basketball again. This is just like a week ago. And now mm. he's playing basketball again. I'm glad he's okay. But they never, in all the articles that I read about this, they never specify exactly what happened Why? to him. Why did his testicles blow up mm-hmm. like cantaloupes? Why would it do that? Under what circumstances? And how do I avoid that particular yes, situation? Exactly. <laughs> because I don't want that to happen to me. <laughs> You know, I'll read about these like medical phenomenon and then I get nervous <laughs> that it's going to be me. Like that lady from MSNBC who got like the oh. mitochidiodartis from a, or whatever you call it, from a common cold. Did you hear about this? No. She goes to bed one night. She wakes up the next day. She's got some chest pain, left, left arm pain, chest pain. It's kind of fading in and out. She doesn't meet much. She doesn't think much of it. You know, maybe it's some gas. Maybe it's like a muscle that hurts. Maybe there's a neck. Yeah. This goes on for a couple of days until it gets more intense, more intense, more intense. And then she starts getting pain underneath her shoulder blade mm. and her arm starts going numb. A clear signs that you could be having a heart attack. So she goes to the doctor and she has this mitocarditis or something like that where the heart basically gets inflamed. Ooh. And it's dangerous. Yeah. It you can like die. Yeah. Right. Obviously. So she had to take a whole month off of work. And when she comes back, she explains this in the hopes that she can help other people. So while I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, tinfoil hat types that'll say, you know, COVID vaccine or COVID Mm -hmm. or whatever, what the doctors are saying, the actual scientists who study this for a living are saying, this came from a common cold. Oh. Anytime I read about any of these phenomena, no, no. Yes. I start sweating that yeah. I'm going to get this too. Exactly. I get nervous that I'm going to wake up and my balls are going to be the size of cantaloupes. They're already down around my knees. I don't need them to be size. I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> you ever seen the cows, like the bulls that walk around and their nuts are swinging between their knees? <laughs> yes. I don't want my nuts to be like that. They're already between my knees. I don't want them also to be two big bowling balls swinging around. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. But if there's a, I, but I'm, I'm imploring a medical doctor who listens to the commercial break to write us or call us or whatever and let us know exactly why someone's balls would blow up into cantaloupes. It's probably the cold as well. It's probably the cold, (laughs) a.k.a. the, you know, that vaccine that we all have to take. You know, every time you say the word vaccine, Spotify puts a a special notification on the episode. Oh, they do? Yeah, they put a special Um, notification on the episode. Yeah, this all... Ah! <laughs> 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 my dumb button. <laughs> uh, okay, so you know we couldn't go long into season number four without revisiting one of our favorites. We promised four times in season number three never to do another episode <laughs> of Frankie so B, good. but they are just too good. And <laughs> I, I have actually done a poll. I have gone back. As far as I could go back during the break, I went back as far as I could go back and I looked at the comments for Frankie B, both in the reviews and what we get in, you Uh know, the text messages and emails that we get. I would say by by 20 percent more positive about Frankie B than negative. So it's like 80, 20. Okay. (laughs) The negative ones, people have written in same person multiple times to tell us to either get Frankie B on the show or (laughs) stop doing the fucking thing. But most people say They like Frankie B, or they'll mention it on the comments or the reviews, right? So I have to think that there's some part of you also that knows that this is low-hanging fruit. It's the best the commercial break is going to get. It's all we can do. We have very small minds. We're watching it so you don't have to. We do this so you don't have to. And by the way, 
We bust Frankie's balls, but he's got about 2,000 more subscribers on his YouTube channel than we do. <laughs> so the truth is, he's doing something right. We're doing... It might the, be from our listeners, because I know I sub- now subscribe to him because of us yeah. talking about him. So. Part of me, like, doesn't want to subscribe to him because I'm nervous that he's going to, like, figure it out. But I think he figured it out long ago. Yeah, if he hasn't yeah. by now. He, somebody had to have told him. Somebody somewhere had to have yeah. said, hey, Frankie, you... <laughs> all he has to do is Google his name, and he's going to find... Find not Frank Bernardo, but he's going to find all commercial break episodes regarding Frank Bernardo. And like I told you that one time on YouTube, they now, if your voice appears in other videos, YouTube will suggest that it may be your voice oh, and say, right. are you, are, do you give permission for this person yes. to use your, your voice? I've been on a few interviews <clears throat> and I'll say two out of the four times that it showed up on YouTube, YouTube alerted me that I was on the video, which is crazy because I don't see a place to tag people. Like, it's, I'm yeah. not tagging people at YouTube. So I imagine that their AI is, you know, because we have so much content mm-hmm. out there, it's here's my voice <laughs> and then it does it. We're all fucked by AI, by the way. Uh, chat yeah, GPT true. is the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. By the way, that chat GPT doesn't do shit. I don't know what that thing does. There's lots of people who keep telling me about, oh, you got to do an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint or a business presentation or a school paper. This is just more proof that you don't need to go to college. Chat GPT True. is proof that there's no reason for you to spend $50,000 a year on college mm-hmm. unless you just really want to be around your age group and having fun and having friends, right? Yeah, I'm sure you can get some education there. And I would like my doctors and my attorneys <laughs> to at least spend a couple days at this, school. This is what you can tell your 12 children. That's right. But in the future, <laughs> you know, someone's going to come you out of the meta. Yeah, you're going to go to you court in the metaverse it. and your attorney's going to be chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be chat GPT versus chat GPT. <laughs> They're all going to defend you. This is all getting real twisted real quick. Yeah. When Elon Musk tried to tell us uh, by the way, I'm not a huge fan of Elon Musk, yeah. but when he tried to, I'm not, I'm just not, I've never been a fan of Elon Musk, mm-hmm. but when he tried to tell us six years ago that AI, AI was a fucking problem and that we needed to be careful, it's all, it, the cat's way out of the bag. Oh, yeah. We should have listened to him back then, but mm-hmm. the cat's way out of the bag and now chat GPT will be doing the commercial <laughs> break pretty soon. Actually, that's a good, good thing. I'll I take know, that. Right? I'll take that. Chat GPT for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe it can give us some pointers. Yeah, I mean, listen, do you think the four people <laughs> listening to the commercial break are going to know the difference between Chad GPT and Brian? <laughs> they want to tune me out anyway. So anyway, without further ado, I was trolling on the internet. As you do. As I do like to do. We'll now take a short break to hear from our sponsors, and then we'll be back to this episode of TCB. Hey, everybody out there in the podcast universe, it's time for the dreaded commercial break inside the commercial break. It's season number four. You've heard it all before, so let's get to it quickly. You can text us or leave us a voicemail at 1-855-TCB-8383. Questions, comments, concerns, or content ideas, send them to 855-TCB-8383, toll free from anywhere in the world. Visit our website, tcbpodcast.com, to listen to any of the audio, watch any of the video, or send us a message. Hit the Contact Us button. Instagram and TikTok at the commercial break. And now YouTube videos the same day they air on the audio feed, they'll air youtube.com slash the commercial break. Chrissy and I are very grateful every time you choose to listen to the commercial break. If you're ever in the market for our sponsors, products or services, all we ask is that you use the specialized URLs or codes. Thanks again for being part of the TCB family. Now let's hear from those sponsors and we'll be back to this episode of the commercial break. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. You could turn $10 into $250. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash fan and use code FAN. That's code FAN at prizepicks.com slash fan. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. Are you struggling to lose weight and keep it off? Tired of wasting time and money on starvation diets that lead to more frustration and stress? If there was a weight loss solution that could actually work for you, would you try it? Then head to golo.com. I'm Steve. I lost 138 pounds in nine months on Golo. I'm Amber. I've lost 128 pounds with Golo taking release. If you're ready to take back control of your life, head to golo.com now and see how Golo can work for you. That's G-O-L-O.com. 
My sleep is way better. My inflammation has gone way down. Golo saved my life. I was way overweight. That's what sent me down the path. I wanted to make sure and live for my kid. I have literally tried everything. I was on the verge of getting gastric bypass surgery, and I saw the Golo commercial, and it was the last thing I tried because it worked. Join over 2 million people who have found a better way to lose weight with Golo. Your healthier and happier life begins at Golo.com. That's G-O-L-O.com. Again, G-O-L-O.com. And now back to this episode of TCB. Frankie B is back to tell us <laughs> about passive income with his Salon Suisse. Salon Suisse. Let's take a listen. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the video. My name is Frank Bernardo. This channel is geared for all guys who want to up their game, look and feel better about themselves in grooming, fitness, fashion, in lifestyle. All right, so we're going to change. In lifestyle or and lifestyle? <laughs> I know. Look at him. He's, I know. He's, first of all, it's a bad camera angle he's got. It's he's a walking. horrible camera he's angle. He's walking down. He's walking through the hall of a building. Yes. Of his salon suite. He's walking down the hall of the building that he does not own, but there's one <laughs> small room that he's dedicated to salon suite. <laughs> First of all, let me give you a little tip about camera angles that I've learned from the fooling around in this studio yes. that I've done. Always do it from right. go up to down, go up. not down to yes. up, because you get your nose hairs and all that other and stuff. That's what we're looking Plus, at. Frankie's had the same five o'clock shadow for 16 <laughs> videos. It's yeah. obvious he's been through a breakup. <laughs> I didn't shave for like seven <laughs> years between my la between my first wife and my second. <laughs> Change up the format of my videos. For all of you who know me, you know I'm into men's self help, especially the older guys. What what can we do to look the best we can at our age? We don't want to look younger. What can we do to look the best at our age? You don't want to look younger. <laughs> yet all of your videos are dedicated yes. to looking younger. And that's not what all your videos are about. A lot of them are about hating women, by the way. Just yes. FYI. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully that I've been giving out some good information uh, and some good tips on how you could just be the better version of yourself. But there's a lot more uh, to my videos. All right, there's a lot more. He's deep. To frame. He's deep. He's deep. He's yeah, deep. There's a lot more to yeah, him. Yeah, there's, you know, when I think of, <laughs> when I think of yoga and when I think of self-help and wellness and I think of Frankie B. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bernardo than men's self help. To give you the insight, I'm an entrepreneur, a businessman. I've been doing business for almost 38 years now. I've been doing business for almost 38 years. I'm a professional businessman. <laughs> Well, I'm a business professional. What was he doing for the other 30 years? Because I, he's in his 60s. Uh, <laughs> I was a mercenary. <laughs> I killed people for money. <laughs> I was in hair products. I sold my own hair products. <laughs> By the way, he said, I'm going to give you a little Frankie B inside. It's insight. Frankie, I know. Frankie kills me for Chrissy. I know, he I know. kills me. I just love oh, him so much. This video is good, too. I feel like I would give Frankie a hug if I saw oh, him. Oh, me too. Yeah, I would give him sure. a big hug. We would go have some drinks. And say thank you <laughs> yes. for the 4 million downloads a month that we get. Because <laughs> I'm sure you're responsible for two of them. <laughs> I've got several businesses, but I want to introduce um, a special business um, to everyone out there who just might be interested in an excellent source of passive income. All right. It's called Salon Suites. <laughs> it's called Frankie B's Devil Egg Emporium. <laughs> And he, he's just walking up and down, back and forth, back and forth. That's right. Too. He's walking he's down like, this hallway, back and back forth. Back and forth, back and forth. Frankie B's Tuna Egg Emporium. <laughs> Get in on this ground floor. You're going to want to sell tuna eggs from your very own salon suite. Now we're in one of my buildings, and this building right here, it comprises a fully furnished individual salon suites. Okay, everything's locked. I can't get into these rooms right now because, unfortunately, I don't have my keys with me. <laughs> Forgot those. Frankie, <laughs> it's me, Mr. Franchise. We give you keys to your building. But don't go with the franchise, guys. Go with Salon Suisse. <laughs> Let me give you some inside, Frankie. <laughs>
<laughs> you should probably get a key to that door. <laughs> It'll help you with business. Over 38 years, we've been a franchise. You know what we learned? Open the front door. It helps with sales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, meanwhile, there's no one in these. Why would there be? You're in the middle of an office building in a small town outside of Chicago. No one knows you exist. Why? Because without the franchise marketing dollars, no one knows you exist. There's no reason to open the salon suite. No customers are coming. But don't get taken by the big guys. <laughs> We can see that, you know, uh, it comes fully equipped for the beauty professional. So where all the beauty professional has to do is bring their own tools and they're open and ready for business at a very affordable rental price in the back. They should probably bring some customers too, Frankie. Don't forget about that. <laughs> They, they just show up. <laughs> yes. They magically appear the second you find the keys to open the front door. <laughs> if you forget the keys, you have a legitimate excuse for no sales. <laughs> Sorry, another bad day at Salon Suisse. I can't find the keys. <laughs> at Salon Suisse, you get everything but the keys. <laughs> I designed this myself with no doors. I've been designing salon suites for 38 years, and you know what I've learned? You don't need doors when there's no customers. Just windows to show off your fancy Paul Mitchell products. Paul Mitchell. Paul Mitchell. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I know. Best thing for the beauty professionals by them leaving their salon or the establishment that they're in and they rent from me, I could put in anywhere from fifty to sixty thousand dollars more a year in their pocket by simply leasing out one of these suites. It just takes that I can put fifty thousand dollars in unemployment right in their pocket <laughs> if they leave that fancy corporate job. <laughs> Don't worry about paychecks. <laughs> you don't need tips when the government sends it right to your bank account. <laughs> Sounds like a great deal, Frankie. Sign me up. Well, that explains why 23 years later, after I created this concept, there's tens of thousands of buildings up in America. Everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. Everyone's experts on putting up salon suites and nothing could be further from the truth. <laughs> he did not start this concept. You know what couldn't be further from the truth? <laughs> Your claim that you started the concept. <laughs> <laughs> Supercuts has been around <laughs> since 1962. <laughs> it's also a salon suite <laughs> with doors and advertising and keys <laughs> and actual customers. Right. <laughs> he's actually claiming that this is his he's, idea. He's holding firm to that. I, yeah. If we ever get him on the show, you know the first question I'm asking him. Did you, in fact, create the <laughs> I'm idea? I'm going to need that napkin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see where you drew that out, Frankie. I want that time. I want that notarized. Yeah. Triple triplicate. I'm the creator of this. No one's got more experience than me. No one has more knowledge. There's nothing I don't know about this business. There's nothing. Except I can't how to bring do. keys. Yeah. <laughs> and customers. It's the middle of the day. There's not a soul around. What happened to all the Money we're making. <laughs> Just not on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday? Okay. Yeah, where are the customers? It's the middle of the day. I know, no one's there. 
So if you're looking for an incredible opportunity for passive income, what exactly is passive income? Passive income is income that you're making watching a football game. You're making while you're on your boat. And best of all, you're making it while you're sleeping, in the gym, exercising. You're making money. Is there anyone <laughs> sleeping inside that building? <laughs> Because that's the only way I see anyone making any money while they're sleeping <laughs> is by stealing it out of your cash register. <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> this is a joke. Make it while you're watching the football game. <laughs> Gee, this is one. This has got to be one of the toughest businesses I have. I told you I have a family member who is in this business in salon suite Sweet. businesses yeah. with Mister Franchise. Uh -huh. Right? They have Mister right. Franchise, and they told me. When they, after they bought their first one and they were purchasing their second location, which cost, by the way, like like oh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars to build one of these, mm -hmm. right, or whatever you do, or you yeah. know, get lease the space or whatever. And he and I was like, well, how much do you make on a monthly basis? He's like, I'm losing like forty thousand dollars a month. <laughs> He's losing forty thousand dollars a month. And I was like, no shit. And he goes, but it's not number two that makes you money. It's number twenty that makes you money. Uh, right. And once you get to that level, then you're making a bunch of money. Now the guy's making millions of dollars a year doing this, but he has many, many, many locations, many locations. Yeah. And he has marketing, and he has advertising, <laughs> and he has customers, and he remembers the keys, keys. to the front door. <laughs> keys are key. That's right. Keys are key. <laughs> keys are key to this business. <laughs> that the luxury of being in business is to have a business that works for you, not for you to work and be a slave to that business. Passive income is the only way to go. Now, a lot of you are thinking, you know what? I don't know about this. Well, we're <laughs> I don't know. a lot of you are wondering why are there no customers? Why can't he get in the front door? Why did he spend so much on chandeliers? I know there's I know. chandeliers. There's like these thousand dollar chandeliers. <laughs> And like padded walls. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's like I a know. padded wall. It's a weird situation going on. <laughs> a lot of you are wondering, why didn't I shave today? <laughs> All questions I can't answer, but Salon Suites, I invented it. <laughs> We'll talk about this in a second. But what a lot of you are doing out there is you're buying a home and you want to rent it out. Okay, that, that's going to be passive income. You know, my ex-girlfriend, she bought a home in Florida, $350,000. You know what she's making on rent after everything and taxes and association fees are paid? You know what she's making? $900 a month on $350,000. I don't like that ROI. I do not like that return on investment. That's why we broke up. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like paying for your vacation home and making an extra $900 a month? <laughs> Sounds like a losing deal to me. <laughs> Pay me a half a million dollars and I'll build you a salon suite with no customers or poor Mitchell products. <laughs> That's a great return on investment. What are you fucking talking about? Anybody would love to have a vacation home making extra nine hundred dollars yeah. a month after mortgage and association fees. Yeah. I had three <laughs> condos down in Florida, and I was losing ten thousand dollars a month. <laughs> At least ten, twelve years to start making money on that house. Because if she was to sell it, or if you were to sell a house in a couple years, all your profit goes to the realtor. So it's it's not good passive income. Now, what if I told you if you put three hundred fifty thousand in my hand, all right, I'll put you up a building, and on that same three hundred fifty thousand, I'm going to put over six thousand dollars a month profit in your pocket <laughs> hold on <laughs> i am literally putting up a building with legos <laughs> taking a hundred of the 350 you gave me and giving you a check for six thousand dollars every month for the first year the extra 200 goes in my pocket <laughs> i mean i love that he's trying to solicit three hundred fifty thousand dollars from a random youtube video well i mean listen <laughs> This day and age, that's like Grant Cardone does this all the time. I mean, this is this is pretty well worn path here. It's not the three hundred fifty thousand that surprises me. Unbelievably, I think that's a pretty small amount of money to start a business, right? I think we've spent more on the commercial break.
between Dr. Phil and Smartless, we could have built ourselves a salon suite. <laughs> We should go to Frankie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we cancel that smartless ad? Uh, the, the the crazy part is is that he's he's telling you that he has guaranteed returns of six thousand dollars a month if you spend three hundred and fifty. Let's do quick math. Mm-hmm. Six times twelve is one thousand six hundred and twenty eight. <laughs> I don't know. It's like $78,000 or something like uh-huh. uh, that. $82,000. $82,000. $182,000. <laughs> How much is that? $112,000? Do the math real quick so I don't sound like a dumbass. What are we multiplying? <laughs> uh, six times 12. Six times 12 is 72. Okay, uh, yes, so six yes, times 12 is 72. 72. So he's saying you're going to put in three fifty and you're going to make $72,000 a year? Yeah. That's an incredible return on investment that I do not believe. <laughs> I don't either. I yeah. don't believe it. Now that is passive income, and that's only one building. Now go back to my ex girlfriend. She wants to buy another one. It's another three hundred fifty thousand. Now she just spent seven hundred thousand, and what's she profiting on two homes rental? Eighteen hundred. You go with me, twelve thousand. <laughs> that's why I dumped her. Well, she dumped me, but that's why I <laughs> pretended in my head she dumped me. <laughs> she was making bad real estate did, uh, Frankie. The last 12 videos you have made have simply been a reason to beat up your ex-girlfriend. I know. You can't even make a video yeah. about business without throwing your ex-girlfriend's <laughs> bad econ- economic skills in there. That's such a shitty thing to do. I know. He does Don't not bring have your to ex- men- He mention doesn't her. mention ex-girlfriend. Yeah. He could just say, I know a person. Yes. Yeah. She'll know it's you. You'll still, get the, you'll still get the jab, right? Without embarrassing her. It's unbelievable. By the way, you think for one second, this 28-year-old party girl you were going out with for two days is watching your videos she has moved on bro she's sleeping with uh one of the paul brothers now What's down in it? florida yeah. she's down in florida living yeah. it up she's with one of the island boys remember those guys <laughs> she's with the island boys you remember the island boys mm-hmm. the guys with the crazy <laughs> yes, hair the island right. boys i saw a tiktok video where a girl was checking out of like a cvs and he was there she goes are you one of the island boys he goes yeah she goes can you Take a selfie with me. He goes, yeah, just let me check out my OJ first. He was like checking out with orange juice. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. All right. Does it sound too good to be true? Absolutely not. I'm consulting and I'm putting up these buildings all over the United States right now. I'm going to put my consulting uh, information in the description box right below this video. My number will be there. My email will be there. Go to the website. Did he say all over the United States? <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. I, why do I feel like that's a little bit of an exaggeration? <laughs> yeah, why do I feel like there, he has two of them going at the same time? <laughs> yeah. One in California and one in Florida. After this video, check out the website. I've got a video on there that's going to explain in detail how you can make thousands of dollars a month if you follow my program. My program would <laughs> my program. I mean, it would help if you showed like a bustling, busy. <laughs> it would help if you would have thought about this video for twelve <laughs> yes, yes. seconds. This is not an episode of the commercial break. You're trying to make people (laughs) buy into $350,000 worth of real estate investment is essentially what you're doing. You would have thought you would have got the keys to the place, set up some properly. I have seen you Maybe you had a cameraman. I have seen you (laughs) talk about your party girl ex-girlfriend in a better way, more prepared than you are talking about a $350,000 pitch. Frankie, we're embarrassed for you. We, you're better than this. <laughs> 23 year track record. Passive income doesn't get. I thought he said 38 yeah, he years. Did. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way that 23 years ago he made up salon suites. That is the year 2000. Yeah. I, Are you telling me <laughs> that before the year 2000, there was no such thing as a salon suite? <laughs> Maybe not a salon suite. <laughs> but a salon suite. Yeah, I know. And even if we go back to his thirty-eight number, whatever. I mean, that's just going that's, back. Yeah, that's to going like, back to the nineties or yeah, whatever. Late 80s, yeah, I mean. I'm seventy-two or whatever. I am. <laughs> that's not that long ago. It's better than this. My name is Frank Bernardo. Again, if you're looking to jumpstart your future, jumpstart 2023. Now's the time. It doesn't hurt. 
to look at the information. It doesn't hurt to give me three hundred fifty thousand dollars and see if it all works out. That's right. Give Frankie your swollen sweet dollars. We'll be here waiting. <laughs> you can always come back to Mr. Franchise. <laughs> Remember, Wednesdays are sweet, wee, wee Wednesdays on sweet, sweet Wednesdays. <laughs> oh my God. You've got ideas everywhere, Frank. You're a man of the people. <laughs> By the way, who's got an extra $350,000 laying around? Right. Yeah. You think the guy who's watching average guy who's watching football on Sundays is interested in opening up a salon suite with an extra three hundred and fifty grand in his pocket? He's betting the parlay on the fucking Browns or something. Get real, Frankie. Sit and absorb it. All right. Don't make any conclusions. Pick up the phone. Don't think too much about it. Yeah. Pick up the phone. Give me a call. Send me a check. I got my wiring information on the website. Oh, has he got a phone number somewhere, did he, he say? Did, he did. And when I first saw this, I tried to look for where he was talking about. It's his he website. Said it was like below the subscribe button or something. Uh, okay, don't, don't, give out, have, don't give out too much information. Yeah, we're going to have to look it up. You see this brand new phone in the studio <laughs> that's soon going to take phone calls? It's yes. going to make phone calls, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I have O.J. Simpson's cell phone number. That's not a joke. <laughs> Call me. That concludes it. If you guys like it, always remember, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to get back on my men's help. And uh, have a great day. Buffalo Bills and Cincinnati is playing right now. I got to get back and watch that game. They are <laughs> playing, not is playing. <laughs> they are playing. He took time out of his busy schedule yeah, of watching football. Yeah, he ran down to the building. Yeah, he ran down to the building, probably to see if his ex-girlfriend was hanging right. out. Yeah, he's probably following her around town. <laughs> <laughs> you, Let me make a quick video. Yeah, how much you want to make it? Wherever she is in Florida with that rental house, mm -hmm. how much you want to make a bet that he 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 frequents there oh, for yeah, vacation for sure? Yeah, with his new girlfriend. He's hide. Oh yeah, he's hiding behind his planters. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh. It's me, Frankie. <laughs> it's good to see him. Back. Talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Frankie! Yeah. What is going on, ladies and oh, gentlemen? Oh no, no, no! Oh, sorry, I was just starting up for a kid. <laughs> well, I was telling you too. He has the other video that he is just—he just got on to rant about people at the gym, people who are using using the good treadmills, yeah, people and who not are fat running, using the good treadmills. <laughs> yes. You're not up to his standards. <laughs> if you're not up to his standards, you can't use the good treadmills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's unbelievable, this guy. I and I love him. I know. And so there you go. A little taste of season number four. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do it. We I had it to do it. It's too good. It's like giving a crack at it, a pipe <laughs> with a brand new rock in it and a lighter. What do you think they're going to do? <laughs> you think they're going to sit back and wait through the rest of the season? No. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being such a huge part of the commercial break. We want to thank everybody who's been writing in, calling in, texting in. Keep it coming. I love it. And um, soon you'll have the ability to call into the show mm. while we're recording. And we're super excited about that. We're going to add an extra layer of complexity and probably stupidity to the show <laughs> by just allowing anybody to call in. We'll give you more information on that as it becomes available. Uh, tcbpodcast.com that's where you go you find out more information about Chrissy and I all the video all the audio right there one location tcbpodcast.com we'd also like to let you know that 855-TCB-8383 that's 1-855-TCB-8383 toll free from anywhere in the world you can text us or call and leave us a voice message and you may hear yourself on the next episode of the commercial break most people text yeah. Most people do not call. Yeah. I don't think they want their voices on the commercial. Right. I don't think they want. <laughs> I think they figure we're never going to get another job again. They don't want to be thrown into that right. mix. You know what I'm saying? Associated. They don't want to be associated with this type of content. And can I blame them? No. no. Because having thought about it 300 episodes in later, I probably would not associate myself with the commercial break either. Uh, at the commercial break on Instagram and on TikTok, please go subscribe and uh, please go follow. Like us, whatever it is you do on those two yeah. platforms. I don't know. Astrid handles all of that. <laughs> and if you want your 21 EPM sticker, 
send in your physical address, and every couple of weeks we send out a couple of packages. You know, we batch them together and send them out. So send us in your address and your name, and we'll send it to you. Chrissy, that's all I think I can do for today. I think so, Brian. So until next time, I love you. I love you. Best to you. Best to you. And best to you out there in the podcast universe. Until next time, Chrissy and I do say, we always say, and we must say, goodbye. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. You could turn $10 into $250. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/fan and use code FAN. That's code FAN at prizepicks.com/fan. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details.